the quest for quality, values of safety, comfort and supreme assurance of the owner of a Mercedes-Benz is still high on the agenda of the manufacturers of these automobiles in Germany. Daimler Chrysler with this new S-Class Mercedes-Benz continues to confirm its position as a pioneer of class and quality of cars. In September this year, the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class celebrated its world premiere at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt, Germany. And to reinforce this S-Class slogan, Be Ahead, Daimler Chrysler organized an international press test drive for the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class for journalists from all corners of the world. Your route is being calculated. Please follow the road. This long distance test drive through the Southern Alps gave journalists an opportunity to take an in-depth look at the Mercedes-Benz new guiding lights and its full range of innovations in action. This included the S500, S350 and the S320 CD model variants. Uh, from my point of view, it's the uh, best luxury uh, car you can have on the world and it's very attractive and the design speaks for itself and uh, shows all the dynamic and technical content you have. So it's uh, very attractive to be an owner of such a high-tech, dynamic and emotional product. We have a lot more performance on that car, but in the same way we reduced uh, fuel consumption and emissions uh, both ways. So in that way you can have more driving pleasure, more dynamics, but still consuming less than on the current S500, what you have for example today. Um, the bigger effect you can even feel on the V6 engines. If you look in the S350, we have roughly about uh, m a little bit more than one liter less fuel consumption than uh, on 100 kilometers what we had compared to the S350 on the, on the old S-Class. The drive started out from Milan, Italy and unfolded over a series of varied and challenging roads from motorways to urban passes into the Engadin region of Switzerland. This 470 kilometer journey allowed journalists to build up a comprehensive picture of the further advances the car makers have made in stress relieving and touring comfort of the new S Class. We have two possibilities uh, of suspensions in the S Class. We have the normal aromatic suspension, which is the standard suspension for the new S Class, um, which individually adapts itself uh, depending on the road road's uh, surface, so if you have a very bumpy um, surface of the road, of course the car gets more comfortable, so you, the suspension gets a little bit softer. Um, as soon as you have um, a smoother ride on the road, the suspension um, detects that by itself and uh, it, it reacts in, a, in a, a little bit harder suspension and therefore having a more dynamic ride in the S-Class. You can also have a ABC system, so the active body control system, um, this is especially made for reducing the rollover effects uh, in curves, so um, mainly for better roads, but of course, um, especially in the mode of, of driving um, quite uh, windy stretches, for example. Um, in terms of dust, um, the systems itself are engineered in a way with filters, etc., etc., that um, it is, of course, independent and enclosed systems so um, even if you have a dusty road or, or dirt um, in the air whatever um, the system would not be influenced by that With the new S-Class, Mercedes-Benz has confirmed its position as a pioneer. For example, with the further improved Distron Plus system, 
including the Brake Assist System Plus and a range of innovative comfort and convenience features, these again set standards. If you uh, think about the car in terms of design, you will find that there's a very good quality of materials combined in a very um, special way. So it's uh, a very luxury room you create and it makes you feel home. It's uh, feeling like my Benz is my castle, you know, on the one hand. And on the other hand, we uh, created islands of function so that it's very calm and easy to use and uh, it's very good to have a good driver's condition for long ridings. And that's uh, an important part of interior design, for example. The S-Class has a pro-safe integrated safety philosophy with a vision of accident-free driving. We have uh, special new innovations uh, in that car in terms of safety, of course, in terms of uh, comfort, and also in terms of driving dynamics. Um, coming to the first point, safety, um, we have the already explained uh, night view assist, which is the infrared-based um, camera to, to have the possibility, as Mr. Peterson already described, to look way more ahead at night. Um, another big innovation, and this will maybe uh, be really groundbreaking for the future automobile industry, is the radar systems. So, so we combined the two radar sensor um, systems of 77 gigahertz and 24 gigahertz uh, with a fusion of the sensors. In that way, uh, you can pr um, detect the surrounding of the car so well that you can have a distance keeping cruise control from a speed from zero to 200. So that's the big advantage is also in stop and go traffic now. You can use this feature and the car will automatically stop if the car in front of you slows down and stop, for example, at the traffic light. So you don't have to touch anything. The car itself stops to complete halt. Once the traffic again uh, rolls on, you just have to give your car a sign by pressing the throttle or pulling the um, the Stronic Plus lever and the car will keep on uh, accelerating to the set uh, speed you, you, get, you told him. Um, so this is a, a very big help and our um, development and, and research department which did a lot of research uh, in driving simulators uh, in Berlin for example um, realized that this will reduce rear-end collisions by up to 75 percent. So this will be a big, big feature which, which helps to avoid accidents in the first place. So it's not a passive safety system, it is an active safety system which is not protecting uh, passengers once it already crashed, but it's thinking ahead and acti actively assists the driver to not even let the accident happen. Um, another big innovation in that field with the radar technology is also the Brake Assist Plus. The Brake Assist Plus um, works especially um, in cases when drivers are not pressing the, the brake pedal with enough power. So many, many people, of course, start to brake, but they underestimate the situation and they don't brake enough, not hard enough. So what the system does with the radar technology detects the optimized braking pressure, what you need to stop the car in time. And then even if you touch, if you just touch the braking pedal uh, with too low pressure, the car itself adds the, uh, the pressure moment what's necessary. And in that case, of course, you can uh, even reduce um, collisions um, again way more than you could, you could do with, uh, with any other system. So after an ESP system, which no, now, which was actually introduced in an S-Class uh, at that time, the first time in the market, which is now very common also in smaller cars, um, after that probably uh, Brake Assist Plus will be on this high level of innovations that we will see that in the future and uh, with these big effects of avoiding accidents in the first place. Mercedes-Benz engines and cars were invented in 1883 by Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybacher in Germany.
If you look back on the history of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which actually started in 1951, so it's more than five decades of Mercedes-Benz S-Classes, it always has been um, a leader, a technology pacemaker in terms of safety, in terms of comfort, in terms of luxury and design, of course. Um, so looking back, that created a kind of an image and, and um, an ownership uh, over the years that, of course, the new generation of S-Class will keep on this tradition and make it the best car in the world.